We've got dead bodies and big plants, and we're gonna leave both of those things now, I guess. So welcome yeah. back. Welcome back. And, uh, yeah. So. Oh, and uh, if I'm timing this right, uh, Merry Christmas Eve to anyone who celebrates Christmas. Yeah. I hope you're, you got a cup of cocoa and a marshmallow plate and a pizza bowl. Eat your Eat oatmeal. some reindeer sausage. Rain, ugh. Mmm. Pretty good, actually. I hope, from what I recall. Hope there's a copy of Dongon Rampa sitting underneath the tree right now that you oh, don't yeah. even know about. Santa's delivering it a little while. Anyway, I don't think I've seen everything there is to see, says Makoto. Oh, I don't think I've seen everything there Liar. is to see. Liar! All right, what okay, are we missing? Okay, I guess I'll look at the... Look at the camera, maybe? Like way over yeah, here. I guess yeah, it I guess is the camera, the camera, yeah. Maybe I go back something? No matter when, no matter where, surveillance cameras are following our every mare where <laughs> oh no what? my stroke went over to jump <laughs> i mean they're absolutely everywhere how many cameras does this place have anyway cool all right mm -hmm. okay. cool um okay. are you, sh you looked at all three things on the ground by the body right okay yeah, yeah. Good body. Uh, are we good now did someone say something that Made us think. Oh, us, I better check. I go, out. better go back and check this. Uh, Where was okay. there? It was, it was, do, you, do you think oh, when yeah. they cryptically said there, they might have meant? Um, actually, no. It's totally useless, no matter what. Oh, all right. They might have actually meant the shed for the little chunk of something that was down there. Like they said, I need to check there, yeah. and I guess we all assumed it was a different room. But do you think maybe that's the shed? Everything that's laying around the body. All the camera to be sure. Something, but. I saw something a lot like them somewhere else. Uh, well, I guess right. check the shed again. But did we check the shed after we, we checked, checked the shed? We did. We checked the we body checked all the, I don't remember. I, I don't recognize that thing. If I check the body more thoroughly, maybe they'll find out I'm sure it's good or not. I just double check the body, I guess. Uh, move um, the camera checked a little. all the spots. Oh, you can't. Can't move the, Yeah. Did you check the middle where the yeah, he just knife said, wound is? He was like, oh, it's, there's only a piece. Piece yeah, left. it's like only piece left. I mean, try it again. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. One piece left, yeah. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I don't think there's anything there. Um... What else did talk? Did anyone I... say... Uh, talk to Toko, because she didn't actually add anything when we talked to her the first time. Maybe... So, who does that body belong to? Same one, I think. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Dang it. Did we actually talk directly to Hero, or did Hero just talk to us? No, we talked oh, to we Hero. Did, yeah. He was the one who was All like... Right. Dude, we'll Try backing out, out again. Uh, try, try, check the shed. I guess I'm checking oh, the shed. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's a disaster. This is how, this is how the playthrough ends. Oh, no. We're in a shed loop. Um, Wasn't the first tarp? We checked the tarp. We checked. Well, that. maybe there's something now that will. But did the tarp get added as a truth bullet? I'm pretty sure it did. The tarp is wet and covered with mud and grime, but the underside. This oh, seems this new. Is, oh, oh boy. It's totally clean and completely dry. We should have known. It's always the tarp. One side of that tarp is wet and dirty. <laughs> something about that bothers me. <laughs> well, that's the name of his panel at TarpCon. Truth bullet! Tarp has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Finally. There's like several actually, um, like, uh, panels at TarpCon about, um, forensic science <laughs> and, uh, crime solving with regards to tarps. <laughs> uh, I believe Tarp was a Presidency of the United States of America song. And take a shot. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing in here that concerns me. Okay. Okay, good. The only thing. Only thing we can Thank you, Makoto. Cool. Now right. we're good, I think. Okay. Okay. I think I've checked everything I need to Finally, in this area. Yes. We might have missed something, but I feel like there wasn't a good indicator that we need to check that tarp again. A, a second no. time. We checked it once. I, yeah. I'm not done yet. There are other areas I need to check. Specifically, that fragment I found before. What is it? Uh, uh. looks like a part of a picture frame yeah rock, but with a button on it I don't it know. looks like it's like <laughs> well it kind of looks like it's bolted onto stone yeah just like that dog was a sack right john 
Yes, much <laughs> like that. But it's like snapped on, like with a like some sort of purse snap thing. No, it looks more okay. Anyway, I'm sure we'll figure it out. All right. There's somewhere I need to go in order to confirm no, my Makoto, suspicions. don't be coy. Great. Tell us. <laughs> I still need to find out more about Kyoko. Oh, boy. Is that corpse really Kyoko? That's true. I'm fucked. <laughs> 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 Was that also Kyoko who attacked me last night? If I can find out more about her... Maybe I can answer that question. Good luck. If she's still alive, she'll kill you for trying. <laughs> <laughs> Just so matter of fact about it. <laughs> Kyoko was never the kind of person to talk about herself all that much. Maybe if I can get Ooh. into her room, I'll be able to find out more. She'll kill the you. The key to her room. It's all clear now. I will simply limit your options. I can't allow you to engage in any further suspicious activity. What? Limit my options. Just give up. Give me the key to your room. I don't have a choice. I have to see if he'll let me borrow her room key. Or we could all jump him. <laughs> <laughs> jump him, jump him. <laughs> oh. Ah! <laughs> oh, hey, Biakia. I have a surveillance camera. <laughs> Oh no. Alright, okay, there we go. Hey, um, Byakia? Does he just walk up with his ears pressed back and his tail tucked between his legs? <laughs> Buddy? <laughs> I brought you a present. If you do come up with an alibi, I'd be happy to hear it. Later, at the class trial. Uh, no, actually, it, it's not about that. You have the key to Kyoko's room, right? I I was hoping I could borrow it, but but not for pervy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, if you say it's for pervy stuff, he's more likely to say yes. Hmm. I'll be honest, I will dig in her trash. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, it's rather sad. Actually, for pervy stuff, sounds like a much better idea. <laughs> in fact, afraid. forget the investigation. We're just going to go to pervy stuff the rest of this time. I'm afraid I can't take that risk. You're the prime suspect, after all. Ah, pervy stuff, the name of this episode. No! <laughs> of course, if I were to go with you, that would be a different story. I'm, I'm gonna... getting a feel off of him. Are you, are you, John? Uh, a little bit. People... I mean, of course, it's the kind of feel it's we get to, like, all yeah. the time, because he's just constantly giving it off. We're like, maybe this is the time. It's him, and we can get rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> If I name this episode Pervy Stuff, people are going to click on it with expectations we are not going to satisfy. We're, we're going to end up with a lot of, uh, a lot of doubt. If we were going to um, name an episode Pervy Stuff, it would have had to have been that bath scene episode. Hmm. Mm. Um, boobs. No! <laughs> there. There. <laughs> then, will you go with me? Uh, oh. Makoto, <laughs> be a man. What would Mondo <laughs> say? Sorry, I have my own agenda to take care of. Find me again later. Please, we'll Yakia, we don't know what the other place we're supposed to go <laughs> is. Depending on my mood, I may go with you. Or I may not. Uh. Or I may go stag to the Winter Fall Ball. <laughs> Hina could beat the shit out of him. Come on. And is still wanting to. Come back later, huh? Okay, then. In the meantime, <laughs> I should look around somewhere Makoto. else. Oh, no. Well, <laughs> even you're fairness, better than The this. punctuation says, okay. And then in the meantime, <laughs> but John Ritter says, okay, then. Yay. I'm Makoto. So he basically just treated it like a uh, Shakespeare script. Yeah. They put put the comma wherever you feel like it belongs. At some point before the end of the series, we'll have John uh, improvise soliloquies at you because that's something that's in his skill set. I... Uh... Historically speaking, uh, <laughs> maybe I should check that check out that one area. No, please, Makoto. You know, you know the, the one. The one we all totally remember. Is this something where Makoto knows something and none of the three of us do? Oh, I hate that. Oh well, <laughs> God, I hope not. <laughs> well, you do, having played this before. I don't remember those details though. Like, I don't remember what this is. I'm like, oh, and then I go and uh, since he's being coy about it, maybe it's the uh, secret room. That's that's Maybe. as good a guess as anything. Like it almost seems like a plaque to me, but 
it does seem, it does seem like a plaque. I mean, it seems like that kind of. Is there anywhere... Does the map give us any kind of hint? Oh, oh yeah, you're right. There'll probably be an explanation point. All right. Did I say explanation point? I yeah, you did. did. Okay. Oh, Jim. Oh. Jim. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Obviously, it's the first. Yeah, it's the ring right here. It's the Junko's body. Yeah, making sure there's nothing else weird out here. See, John's gotten real into the map now. Yay! Oh, I'm so into maps. I'm alright with that. Alright. Go! Aw, oh, remember when we were, like, talking to Sayaka here and getting gold all over our hands? Yeah. Yeah. Aww. Oh. <laughs> it was a simpler time. Being set up as a patsy by a pretty girl. <laughs> None of us knew that Toko was a serial killer. Alright. Mm, what's the... So then... What? Scan? Alright, well, I'm definitely oh. gonna check out Monokuma's... Uh, Monokuma's lying dismantled on the floor, but... I figured it wouldn't be here. You know? Oh! Oh, oh sorry. I just found something. What is it? it it's... Huh? It's what? Hmm. A bomb. There's one installed in every Monokuma robot, I'm sure. Okay. A b b bomb And that bomb went missing. He's figuring stuff out. There's no doubt about that. The fragments I found in the garden... Truth bullets! Fragments near the dead body has been updated in the truth bullets section of your handbook. Guys, Makoto's becoming competent. We're in danger. Character growth, guys. It's character growth. <laughs> okay. I've checked Kyoko everything. Kyoko will be so proud if she's not dead. <laughs> everything else I can, uh, I can think of. All that's left now is... Kyoko's room. I should head back to the garden and ask Byakuya. I should crawl. Is that not basically what he does? I mean... Leave the guy. Leave the guy. -um. We did uh, Tai Chi with Taka in there. Yeah. Or no, it wasn't Tai Chi. It was just like morning exercises. Oh, this is the floor we were on when everyone was alive. Oh, remember, remember when there were so many of us packed into this one floor and <laughs> that room wasn't open? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Those were days. Leon's safe girlfriend. No. I'd say those were the days, but those, those were definitely those, days. Those days certainly occurred. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, that was fun. Uh, when this is all over and I don't have to worry about being spoiled, I really am going to go onto the internet and find out how many days passed. But I'm pretty sure I tried to Google that last time and, like, there was no good answer. I mean, we could probably figure it out just watching back and seeing, like... That's you know, a lot of hours. There's a day-night cycle we could just keep track of. Yeah, we could just kind of fast-forward day. Fast-forward night. Fast-forward day. Fast-forward night. So. Anyway. anyway. Where are we? What are we doing? Uh, we're going back here, because that's where everyone is. Feeding someone gonna... to a plant? Well, that'd be great. <laughs> but for now, we're just going to beg Bia... Are they just not doing any work? <laughs> Listen, Kina's got most of a chicken to finish. <laughs> Toko's scared of the dead body. <laughs> Heroes in his special garden. Did they kill the chicken and use chicken blood to mess up the body? Chicken blood can only be used for voodoo. Fact. Oh, God. Hero. Oh, so it's a good thing the body exploded before it could be raised as a zombie. <laughs> a luchador zombie. Oh, sorry. I choked on how cool that was. <laughs> that is pretty damn cool. <laughs> you, you think you can you can go soon, Biakia? Let's go. You wanted to check out Kyoko's room, right? Very well. Let's gonna, go. He's going to do something pervy in that room. <laughs> and when I say he, I don't know which one. <laughs> uh, wait for me. Don't look in the trash before I can. <laughs> Yakya walked off without a second glance, and I hurried after him on our way to the dorms. <sighs> <laughs> you can play with my hair. Talking to the cat. <laughs> there. On our way to the door. Hi, Yakya. Oh, God. <laughs> I thought you were going to do the concussion lap for a second. I was really tempted. 
Well then, here we go. Soccer is not even there to annoy anymore. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Byakuya took out the key and slid it into the keyhole. And then... It exploded. <laughs> 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 and that was the end of Byakuya. <laughs> and it's open. Looks like it. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, this is Kyoko's room. Is there lot, anything? A uh, lot cleaner than Heroes. <laughs> uh, well, she's got a folder. Her pillow is pink. Is it? It's kind of kind of purple. There. No, it's kind of purple. Uh, and now we're gonna be pervy. Yet. Here's her bed. Uh oh. I don't see anything interesting here. Oh. Uh, not as far as the case is concerned. What does that mean? Ew. What does that mean? Something gross. I don't even know what he's implying. <laughs> I'm not even. I'm not even sure. What he's implying. All right. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, so there's the thing on the. No oh, garbage. Yeah. There's no there's trash no, can. Oh, no. She trash. knew he was coming. <laughs> <laughs> there's something on the table. She stole the number six. Or the number nine. Or the number nine. Leon. Oh. It's... Is it journal number six? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't know what happened through f to four, four and five, five. <laughs> but it's a woodblock decoration. Is it? What? What's that? What purpose does it serve? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Tell me now. Explain. Just relax, man. Really? Oh, he does kind of have a little bit of a Dalek thing going on. Explain. <laughs> Explain. Uh, I think it's oh. probably. A, a key. Yeah, Byakuya would definitely be a villain in a Doctor Who episode who tried to, like, bargain with the Daleks. And then got zapped. Yep, yep. yep. The lockers at those really traditional public bathhouses use them for their lockers. Yeah, you know those. Yeah, the really traditional They're ones. So traditional. They're on every street corner. Oh, I wouldn't know. I've never gone to a public bathhouse. He's Ugh. just been gross this whole time. <laughs> Uh, private bathhouse. I think it's clearly the implication. <laughs> well, I like. I, like no, the I mean, but here, I mean, that's a public bathhouse in the school. Uh, I, I like the basically? thought that Byakuya <laughs> thinks he's above water. <laughs> <laughs> thinks he walks on it is what's the. Mm -hmm. That doesn't really surprise me. It's hard to picture Byakuya doing something like that. You know, socializing. <laughs> Derobing. <laughs> Only possible. But if it is a key. I think I might know what it unlocks. He would have servants who would derobe and socialize for His him. His heart. <laughs> oh, so it's a keyblade? Oh, it's, it is. Ooh. Know. Really? What? Hmm. Unless I'm mistaken. I'm pretty sure I saw something in the dojo that this might oh, go to. All right. The dojo? <laughs> That's right. We have one of those. Truth bullets! Word? <laughs> Woodblock key has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Boy, Should I'm it? glad you put that spittoon down. <laughs> <laughs> she spat her mistake out on the floor. Anything else in here that, that we want to pervily go through? Check and see if there's a uh, Sayaka in there. Is the door locked? Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. She might have certain articles hanging out to dry. <laughs> I'd better not look inside. Now, where's her trash? Wait, doesn't, th there's a whole laundry room. Why isn't she just using the... Well, this is a public laundry room. Maybe they don't want to dry it publicly. I guess so. I don't know. That's what a dryer's for. Yeah. I, get, I mean, the, I guess the implication is they wouldn't just want like someone delicate. to walk in on the... Dry like, Hifumi was here once. Would you be comfortable washing your unmentionables knowing Hifumi could walk into that room at any moment? I suppose, but he's yeah. dead now. Well, you get into yeah, a habit. We're not you sorry. Get into a habit. Yeah, yeah. I think and Hifumi's besides. the one I miss the least. <laughs> oh. You miss Leon more than Hifumi? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, we, we, we never really got a chance to get super tired of Leon. I suppose. Or figure out why it is such a skinny dude was hitting cleanup. I can't remember who I had this conversation with. I feel like it was one of you. Uh, this weird idea that you got oddly attached to Junko really quickly. I think he did have that uh, conversation with with us and Yeah. 
She was competent. Oh, that's right. That's right. Because she was on, like, she was not genius level and, like, Byaki or or Kyoko, but she was competent, which was relatable. So, Uh, I don't think you you didn't actually talk to Byaki, right? Uh, Yeah. I I do have a habit of saving that for last, whenever possible. (laughs) You wanted to come here, right? So what is it you're looking for? Nothing in particular. I just thought we might find some kind of clue here. A clue that might help us understand Kyoko. Come on. You can't be serious. That's why you made me take time out of my search to come here. Dude, you were just standing around like an asshole in the garden. (laughs) That's true. But I was standing around like an asshole in the garden. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) Makoto! Man. Regardless, if you plan on poking around at random, you're doomed no matter how much time you take. Surely you have something more concrete. Something to give us some sort of direction here. That's because you don't know what the direction is, because you're an idiot. Oh boy. More concrete. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I really don't like how John said that. Like, the, it, it seems like, like a it's... cement mixer. <laughs> like, no, we could have to climb into a cement mixer. Where's the chicken? Oh, I know. Earlier, Kyoko gave me something. Huh? What's this? It's true. Consider it a symbol of my determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it... If something ever happens to me. I'm sure I have it here somewhere. Uh, Did you lose it? (laughs) He's got a lot of layers of hoodie. (laughs) That's true. Oh, found it. Don't show it to Biakia. <laughs> Look, Biakia, do you want to read it? What's in the envelope? None of your beeswax. Monthly kickback? Kyoko gave it to me. She said if something ever happened, I should open it. You idiot. <laughs> well, something certainly has happened, so open it. Uh, oh, okay. You idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I opened the envelope in plain sight and looked inside. In plain f- sight. It was full of bats. <laughs> <laughs> inside it was a single piece of bat. <laughs> it's like whatever Kyoko is that's like the black spot equivalent <laughs> under the sheets under the sheets dang it no <laughs> now I've done it too is this uh, but it's it, a downward sweater but only on the top half what what the top half got wet because that was where the uh, was going. The top half got wet. The bottom half didn't get wet. Uh, we went through this joke like 20 times. <laughs> <laughs> we went through this joke like Makoto time. That was- <laughs> <laughs> That's all that was in there. Yeah, it looks like it. Under the sheets. Oh my god. What could, it, what could it possibly <laughs> mean? She knew she was leaving a note for Makoto, right? <laughs> <laughs> Could something be hidden under the bed sheets? Part of me didn't expect to find anything. <sighs> but as I lifted up the sheets... Another dead body. What's this? Bat! <laughs> <laughs> I found a crumpled up bat. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, Kyoko had a lot of bats. <laughs> <laughs> that was her... That- she was the ultimate bat handler. <laughs> that would I explain that all this Leon. guano in the room. Aha! Ah. Class number 78 student registry. Are they class number 78? Well, I can't read any of that. Thank you. Makuru uh, um, Ikusaba, sex F. And then <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> yeah, it's, even, even if we could see it clearly, it'd be yeah, in Japanese. Makuru Ikusaba? Uh, do we remember who that is? Hmm. Mm-hmm. I think we only Which went through it a few times. M- no. Go ahead. Uh, appears to be Makuru Ikosaba's profile. Yeah, looks like it. That's probably the other thing Kyoko stole when she snuck into the headmaster's room uh, along with the key. God, you're so annoying. Fine, I'll tell you. It was a key and... That's it. This must be the blank that Monokuma was talking about. 
how was that actually delivered in dialogue form? You'll have to remember, Monokuma once communicated in uh, emojis, so... Yeah, that other people were able to see, somehow? <laughs> I, I like to think there was um, a... Uh, a bleeped out keening over the loudspeakers that was timed <laughs> because of how he's, you know, in sync with all the, 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 the speakers and whatnot. Maybe he just carries one of those, like, you know, tickers that you sometimes oh. see in shops that oh, just yeah, around with him yeah. all the time. Yeah. The Dow Jones is up five points, <laughs> and... <laughs> if that were the case, Biaki would be following him around all day. Hmm. I should suggest this to Monokuma. <laughs> Kyoko said a death without meaning was unappealing, and this is what she left behind. Hmm. Oh, I don't have time for your sentimental indulgences. Hurry up and finish your search. Huh? Oh, okay. <sighs> Makoto! <laughs> I made an effort to pull myself together, then looked down at the profile sheet. I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but Makoto, you're better than this. Aww. Name, Makuro Ikusaba. Sex, female. The ultimate soldier. Hmm. Although small for her age, she was a military specialist trained in every weapon type imaginable. She showed an interest in the military from childhood and found herself completely absorbed in it. <laughs> <laughs> in elementary school, she won a survival game tournament and began writing for military magazines. Just before entering middle school, while she and her family were on vacation in Europe, she disappeared. Interpol disavows all knowledge. <laughs> the story of a young Japanese girl being kidnapped quickly took over Japanese media outlets. An intense international investigation turned up no information, and she was never found. However, she reappeared in Japan three years later, alone and completely unannounced. She revealed that she had joined a mercenary group known as Fenrir for those three years. She insisted that she hadn't been kidnapped, that she'd received battle training of her own volition. So the dog thing in the hand is the Fenrir symbol. No, it's Santa Sack. We've been over this. Oh, that's true, yeah. However, she never revealed why she decided to return home when she did. Truth Bullets! Makuro's profile has been added to the Truth Bullets section of your handbook. Thanks, green text. Well, that's weird. So without ever getting to meet the 16th student, the 16th student is... dead. Or tattooed the Fenrir mark on someone or is kyoko secretly the 16th student yeah or is kyoko also a member of fenrir well yeah. we're pondering these things and you're pondering your delicious christmas eve dinner and all them presents sitting under the tree uh one of two things is gonna happen either the episode's about to end or the episode's gonna keep going because, again, it's an investigation, and I have no idea how to time these out. Right. So, if this is the end of the episode, Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. Uh, happy anything else if you celebrate something else. Happy bank holiday. Happy bank holiday. I hope you get everything you hope for and more, or less, depending on your concept of material possessions.